Right lads, thank you very much for coming. Give yourselves a round of fucking applause. Give yourselves a round of fucking applause. What a fucking day lads, what a fucking day. Fuck it, like we, we're not allowed to fucking do comedy anymore. Which is bullshit, because it's the time that, um, that we need most fucking laughs. And uh, that's what I just tried to do here. And this is absolutely fucking incredible lads. This is absolutely incredible. Some of you, I don't know if, if everyone knows the names that are on this list, like you're in for a fucking treat lads. You're in for a fucking treat. For like 15 bucks, those names that are on the list is absolutely crazy. And if anybody's recording anything, um, I'd like to welcome you to my Scarborough home. We're not where we are, okay? We're not where we are. Nobody fucking puts that, the address is never put down. It's always a, 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 goes through me, all right? You can say the area, whatever. That never goes down, because we want to do this. I want to keep doing this. I'm going to do three or four a week for until Doug wants me to die. Do you know what? For as long as Doug wants me to die, I want to do three or four of these a week. Like, I'm a bartender and a comedian. Doug is like, you're going to die. And I'm going to make it happen. And fuck that. And fuck that. And fuck, you know, people need to fucking laugh. So that's why we're here. Uh, you've all already fucking got a few drinks at the bar. You know how it works probably. But um, the cash bar, Simon's back there. He's fucking killing it. He's one of the best bartenders in Toronto. And that's why you have him here. He'll, t he'll, he'll figure it all out, just tell him, he, he knows what to do, like I, I'm, I, I'm putting, the, the bar is in his thing, you know, like, he's writing stuff down, yeah, just, you run a tab, he, yeah, exactly what he just said, thanks Simon, thanks, but uh, if anyone's taking a picture of Simon, just make sure, you ready, so just make sure that uh, he has his mask on, because like, we need the fucking, we need to have, Mass on for the help. So he, he's got, he's done. Thank you, son. I, I feel safe, man. I feel safe. I feel safe. I appreciate it. I appreciate you putting that mask on for me, man. We need to, this is a pandemic of poor people. Like, also, if any of you guys are rich, you don't need to social distance. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Because it's just poor people that are suffering for this pandemic. That's all that's happening. I fucking, so the, the list is there. You make your cocktails. If there's a cocktail that you want extra, ask him. We might have it, we might not. And it says there that we are selling like mushrooms and pre-rolls for 10 bucks. Like that's obviously a joke. That's not happening whatsoever. Uh, we would never do that. But if in an alternate universe, we did do that, which we're not, uh, I would probably give 10 bucks to that guy with the phone over there. And uh, so yeah, for shroom, and he also does not sell pre-rolls whatsoever. So don't ask him for those. I think we're on the same page of what's happening. <laughs> Alright, let's fucking... Yeah, I just, I just wanted to bring fucking comedians here. There's too many, I, I shouldn't go on too long, because uh, uh, we have a stacked fucking show, so I want to... Like, everybody's fucking, everybody's welcome here. We, we want to bring all, all comedians. We want to do this for comedians that are going... You know, for the next few weeks, comedians need a place to go. We're getting the comedians money as well. Some of these comedians, like a lot of them are pros, like so th this is how they make their money. Being a pro comedian is not a great thing. Like it just means you're poor until you make it. These lads are as good, they should be making money, but now they've got that taken away from, so I'm able to give them some money, all right? And um, yeah, all comedians in Toronto are fucking welcome to this. I have no qualms with anybody, except maybe the comedian that's, uh, that's banging my ex-girlfriend at the minute, but... Uh, <laughs> That, that's true as fuck. Like that, that's oh yeah. I, I did a fucking um, I did a roast battle a couple of couple of like about a month ago, and uh, my ex actually went onto the page of my roast battle, find out who I was roasting against, and text him and basically said, "Do you want to fuck or whatever?" And now they're now they're together. But like I've I've obviously it was traumatic at the time, but like I uh, I've done a lot of shrooms and I've gotten through it, you know, which is fine. But I mean. I'm angry at her a little bit, but, but you know, thinking how was I with someone like that? But I don't really matter because we weren't together anymore. But like the comedian, I'm like, he has the same dream as me. He's fucking a Brazil, a hot Brazilian girl. Fucking text him out of the blue that he had never seen before and said, "You want to come over and fucking have sex?" I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking doing that. Like I want to, I want to be a part of this show no matter what. And I would love to keep doing this, but if I get a text and a Brazilian girl wants to fuck right now, Matt Render is hosting the rest of the show. Like, I'll be gone. Guys, let's get this.